Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and welcome to another installment of my adventure, my Let's Play Survival World. So, wait, am I hard? Yeah. Um, yeah, I totally just said installment because I forgot what episode it is. It's probably like six or seven. Alright. Um, you see, I have a lot of sand shovels. This, even though we took so much sand, we still don't have nearly enough for our pyramid. I think we have to have like seven like inventories full of uh, sand. So that's, we have like one and a half right now. Oh yeah. Um, this is probably the last episode I'm going to be recording in uh, 1.5.2. Because today is Sunday, June 30th, when I'm recording this video. And I know for a fact I'm going to upload it. Not today and tomorrow 1.6 comes out so yeah when you're watching this video 1.6 is going to be out and that's why i went ahead and made 11 golden apples took all my apples and all my gold and made it because if you didn't know in 1.6 they changed the recipe for golden apples and now you have to use uh eight gold ingots around an apple but uh before you could use uh, eight gold nuggets. So basically, you can make you can make eleven golden apples with like two pieces of like uh no you can make eleven gold apples with like eleven pieces of gold or like ten pieces of gold. But uh, when the update comes out, you can only make one golden apple with eleven pieces of gold because you get uh, nine nuggets from every gold ingot. So yeah, I haven't gone down there to finish that mining, or in this mound of sand to finish the mining, um, because I wanted to wait until I have a fortune pick to get those ores, so I will enchant another pickaxe after I, um, after I get 30 levels. But I just noticed I don't have enough diamonds for another pickaxe, I have a sword, why do I make a sword? I'm gonna, yeah, I guess I'll have to go mining in this episode, or maybe after it. So this, as you uh, may remember, it was all the way out to here. I scaled this back a lot using torches and just um, like this. Just doing that. It's much. It's very fast because I have to uh, scale this sand mound all the way back to here. This is the edge of the pyramid. This has to be at the same level as that sandstone block and that sandstone block. So, it's going to take a while, but... And I, I think the cave goes into here, because I keep hearing skeleton noises. So, it might not be that hard, but that means it's going to be harder to get sand. Right now, we're getting a lot of sand for our giant build. And I stopped it here, because... It looks like... After that sandstone, we're going to break into the cave. Which, I don't know if I want. Yeah, I, I hear skeletons right now. Yep, there's a cave. Actually, I think that was a cave. Oh, oh there it is. I put it inside. Alright, let's get rid of all this. Whoops, wrong one. Let's finish this up. The rest we can get with our shovel. I've been making a lot of stone shovels. It's hard work, but you have to do it. And we didn't get this one. Alright. And let's, uh, head right in here. Alright, um, still have this not efficient, uh, pickaxe. I mean, it is diamond, it's pretty good. But it's not efficient C4. You can see, like, over here, there's just, like, sandstone. So I guess, oh, I thought there would be, um, I thought there would be a cave under there. Alright. Let's see, how far deep does this go? Hmm. Okay. So, I don't have to go too much farther in, because the 50 blocks end right over here. So, it's really not that much farther from here. Oh, don't die. Oh, of course I'm not going to die. I have armor on and 
wasn't that long. So I'm going to scale this all the way back to that, and I'll cut back when uh, I get there. So I came here to shear the sheep so I can have more wool, so I can make a bed where I'm building this and stuff. I moved some, uh, I moved some chests and all that stuff. And there's only one. One. I don't know what happened to the other one, just like the villager. Hopefully in 1.6 this issue gets resolved. Um, so I'm gonna have to go out and find another sheep. Make some shears. So I wanna just make another bed. What's with all these despawning passive mobs? I don't see why- I don't think any, uh, hostile mobs would attack any passive mobs. And still, there's two sheep in that pen. Why wouldn't it try to kill the other one? Whatever. Let's get this guy. Alright, we have enough. I'll make that bed. So I have a lot of, um... Sand now. Yeah, this, what's in my inventory right now is not much of the sand. Let me get over there and show you. It's pretty scaled back right now. Into the cave. And... Equip, make a bed over here. Whoops. Alright. So now we can spawn over here. And what, I've been staring, storing all the sand. You know. But this isn't enough that we're going to need. We're going to need a lot more than this. A little bit of sandstone. So I'm going to continue doing this. That took a while. Whoops. Just fell off the cliff. It is all the way back now. I would like it to go further, but not today, because I'm a little tired of doing all this. Like, it's gonna be, right now, it's pressed, like, the edge of the pyramid will be pressed against this wall. I want a uh, space, and I want it to be terraformed, so it looks like this was natural, not just a big, like, slice. Like, that went out to about here, because it took a while to get to this. So I sliced out a lot of this mountain. <laughs> And I have a lot of sand and sandstone, but still not enough of the pyramid. Right now, I think I will make the uh, the outer ring, the first ring, just so you guys can get an idea of what it's going to look like. So let me just grab that piece of sandstone, which is going to be this piece of sandstone. So let's just put one piece of sandstone in our inventory. So right where we are right here. There we go. So. Hello. Oh yeah, I got one of these guys' helmets before. It was a Protection 2, Respiration 2 helmet. Pretty good. Okay. So I think I have to... Fill all the... Here, let me, let me just drop off a bunch of stuff. And then I'll, I'm, I'm not going to build the, build the thing today, but I'm going to get like the platform ready and I'm not going to terraform that more, but it's going to have room. Um, let's get rid of all this stuff. I actually ran out of shovels. See, there's the protection to respiration too. Um, oops. So we have a good amount of sandstone to get started. And let me make some more shovels. Around the shovels, but the end was just more sandstone, so I didn't really have to use it. It was a lot of dirt. Okay, so let me just eat up so I don't die. And I'm going to grab a bunch of sand. That's good. And I will start filling this stuff in because all around here has to be that height so I'm gonna fill all this in and we'll see how it looks right finally we can begin this build I'm just gonna do one ring just so you guys can see what's gonna be like sure we're not actually ready yet I have to fill this in oh I want that coal I want that coal badly dive 
I was in one piece. Just gonna fill us in what we need to fill in. Oops. Yep. All right. So we're gonna need about fifty times four is about two hundred. So we're gonna let's just get our four stacks to be safe of the sandstone. We have our sandstone. Let's just do one big ring to see the structure of this thing. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to go up one over one. Just have a rising um, diagonal line. I'm not going to use stairs. I know people use stairs. That would add more like detail. But stop stop messing up my desert underman. Right, I'm going to kill him. Hurt to make them not keep teleporting. If they just walk and try not to jump. What? Alright, you don't like the water. You're not going to get any further than that. Come on. Don't run. There we go. No ender pearl? Come on. And the noise still goes after you kill him. It's annoying. Eat some steak. Yes, yeah, so obviously I'm going to make sure that there's no flat wall over there. There's a flat wall over there also, but I'll do that stuff off camera probably. I'll finish this up. Voila. There it is. This is the size of the pyramid. It's pretty big, right? I think I'm going to have the entrance of the pyramid over here somewhere, maybe. And we'll have like a dock and we'll be able to go to other places. Maybe we can sail to a Mushroom Island or something. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll have a sandstone floor for, uh, later. I think I'll make it out of half slab so I can save on sandstone. I'll terraform this down. I'll terraform that. So yeah. That is a lot of work we just got done. Short time for you guys because all the cuts, but it took a great deal of time for me. Whoops, wrong chest. Alright, so, um, let's do something else now. Alright, everybody, um, I'm getting a little lag right now. As you can see, changed my shirt. Things might look a little different. I am in Minecraft 1.6. Um, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm recording this part of the episode the next day and everything, and I don't have Optifine anymore. Um, I checked the forum page at the moment I'm recording this, it's 15% complete to 1.6. When you're watching this, it's probably already out. I probably made a tutorial on how to get it with a new launcher. I like the new launcher and everything. So let's just stop talking about 1.6, because it's probably been out for like a week or something when you're watching this. So, let's see. I'm going to get some more food. I think I'm going to, I'm going to farm everything up, and then I'm going to get some XP so we can do a, and try to find one more diamond, so we can do another pick, so I can try to get a fortune pick. So I'm going to first just farm everything. Okay, so I did some more farming. I'm going to craft a bunch of stone swords, because I'm not going to really make a experience farm. I'm going to make a kind of fake experience farm it's gonna be um it's gonna be just i'm probably just gonna go to that spider spawner we found in episode one and i'll block it so they can't get out and i'll just keep hitting them with the stone sword another way to get xp though I'll, I'll quickly breed these cows but really we should be looking for diamonds first breed all these guys Collect the XP. I remember when this pen was full. Not anymore. Whoops. Let's get all you. Did everybody get their share of wheat? I'm already seeing some babies. Alright. Why don't we jump in there to finish collecting all that? Let's get all the XP. I only got, I only got us one level. Oh well. Okay, so let's go. Oh, that's cool. The um, 
update. I forgot it. Uh, where to do the F three H thing? It shows the uh, durability left on things. Wait, no, it doesn't. Wait, the durability's gone. I don't see how many hits I have left. What? Maybe there's a way to get that back. Plus five. Oh, so this, this down pick and this stone sword do the same amount of damage. But then this, the same amount of damage as that. These all do the same amount of damage. Shovel does like nothing. Iron sword is a little bit better. Oh, so that's cool. But I like the durability bar too. Hopefully they'll bring that back. Hopefully nobody else despawned. Good. I don't need that egg right now. Okay, so now where was... There's my little cobble pillar. Now we're going to be loading chunks in 1.6. Maybe we can, uh, if you go caving kind of far, we'll be able to... Find some neem tags, some horse armor, maybe some actual horses. Okay, so this is the spawner. So let's create something kind of that would work. Um, why don't we? We should probably let's try this. Where's our cobble? Let's fill in the back here. Ah, we're gonna run out of cobble. I should have brought more. Well, I use it all on those stone swords. I shouldn't have done that. It's obviously not gonna be our permanent XP farm. But right now, it's something we could use. Um, just get a bunch of this. It's easy to collect. And you're probably why wondering why I don't use any of that sand because I have so much now. We're gonna need that sand. There, that pyramid's gonna be huge. Off camera, I'm just gonna dig out from under where the pyramid's actually gonna be so we won't see that part. Alright, so let's see where it would go. Okay. So. I want more cobblestone. This pick's getting a little broken. I, I, fe I feel the lag. Without Optifine, I need Optifine. Okay, so I'm going to raise this like that. I think that will extend it. Yeah, that extends it all the way over here, and then I'll go like let's get a little bit more. Alright, so spiders cannot get through that one gap. So I don't think a spider can fit through here. They might be able to. It's a one diagonal gap. But we will see. Let me put a torch here so they don't spawn over here. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Or we'll get these torches because they're going to flow to us. Nope, they can't get out. Alright, so that works. Let me just lower this a little bit. So now I'll just basically stand here and just keep mashing them. Can they hit me from here? Okay, this is a good... Alright, that's too close. I have to stay, like, right... Like, right there. Alright. So I'm just gonna do this until I have 30 levels, and yeah. Every so often I'll grab the, uh, stuff. Is it going to spawn? I'm going to make this a bit darker. Because I, I think there's not that much spawning space right now. Grab some more cobble. Where's that cobble? Oh, the lag. The lag is killing me. Yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of spider eyes and stuff from this. This isn't ideal because they're not one hit, but whatever. So I want to go like, like, no, not like that, like this. No, not like that. There. Now if I stand right here, can you hit me? Yeah, you can. So now I'll just, nope, that's not going to work. Alright, we need this, we need this row. There we go. 
Alright, so this is how I'm gonna do it. It's nice and dark. Die. Hello. Collect the stuff. We're already getting some stuff, and I'll be back when I have 30 levels at least. Die, spider, die. Right? We have 28 levels now. I think that's good enough because we're gonna. I didn't think about this. We're gonna be getting some levels in the case when we're looking for that last diamond to make a pickaxe. Oh, somebody spawned out here? Or was that not from a spawner? I don't know. Whatever. Alright. So, yeah, I blocked that off so we just wouldn't keep getting hit. Took my armor too. Killed a skelly, dropped a bow. I'm just gonna keep all these swords down here in case. Actually, down there in the caves, we're probably gonna have to fight them. All right, so let's go back to that cave that we haven't really we explored, but we haven't gotten all the ores from. And I guess we can. Kind of explore more, or I'll maybe just make random branches and just try to find a diamond. Yeah, because see, I turned my render distance a little lower. It was on far now, so normal. I'm getting less lag now, at least. When Optifine comes out, I'll be able to play on far again, hopefully. All right, eat some steak. And here's the pillar. I always forget which part of the cave I have my stuff in. Like what? Which which uh, cave is where all the ores are? Which is the tunnel? It's this one. Yep, I got it. It is this one. Yeah, it's definitely this one die all right up oh. well okay then it's getting dark in here I could explore down here I'm just looking for diamonds right now it's my level 14, okay, I can find diamonds down here. Alright. So, I'm gonna look. And I'll tell you when I find some. Look what we found. Wait. Where'd they go? I thought they're right around that wall. I thought I found some diamonds. I know I did. Oh, they're right here. Ta-da. At least three. We only needed one. I actually ran out of... I ran out of, uh... What's it called? Torches. <laughs> Just grab this. Oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna leave these here. I'll take a picture of the cores and guess forget where they are because... In case we get a fortune pickaxe with this pickaxe we make, then I want to um I want to get these with the fortune. Yeah, by the way, if you hear that vacuum sound, sorry, can't really do anything about it. Okay, so let's get back up to uh to um back to uh, enchanting. Be right back. Right, I made it out. I think I made it out a different entrance that I came in. Okay, so let's us enchant. I feel like things look different without Optifine. Uh, hopefully it, it comes out very soon. While you're watching this, definitely out already though. Okay, um, we'll just grab our other two diamonds. I need to make a few of this, a few sticks. Um, I realize the, uh, that sound is very loud right now. 
Um, so don't go commenting about it. I understand it's annoying. And I'm sorry. Alright, let's enchant. And I think that's gonna be, um, if for this episode after I enchant this, if it's fortune or silk touch, I'll go get all those ores in the cave. And I'll probably terraform a bit off camera so we can uh, start building the pyramid maybe next time. So yeah. A little short episode, but here we go. We don't have 30 levels. Let's go get 30 levels in our little uh, XP spawner. I'll be right back. So yeah, I ended up getting the experience from breeding the cows and then killing the cows. So now I have 30 XP. We lost a bunch of cows, but we're okay. I tried uh, smelting some stone, so I have some stone in my inventory, but I didn't get much experience from that. Okay, so let's quickly go over here and enchant. So everybody cross your fingers for fortune or silk touch. And we'd like to get a, a break, unbreaking three efficiency four in there. Okay. Um, it's a pretty good pickaxe, not the best pickaxe, but it has silk touch, which is very good. I wish I had unbreaking um, three on that. Or efficiency four, I'd rather unbreaking um, three. Well, I will use this to get all the redstone and stuff in the caves. So, yep. So I will do mining off camera. And... And I'll terraform off camera. So, next episode you'll see some cool stuff. See you next time.